It is 66 degrees. It is 66 degrees Fahrenheit here in California. Southern California, San Gabriel, Arcadia, Monrova, Monrovia, <laughs> and all the other places under the San Gabriel umbrella. Angeles, Flores. Sample Sunday. I was checking out why restaurants fail. That's right. But let's not forget my Panera breakfast. My usual Madagascar. I'm doing it right today. And my chicken chipotle. Chicken chipotle apple. Well, anyway, I, I, I wanted to check out why restaurants fail. And uh, I could have done it last night, but I did it early this morning. But before I began my day, and it's had mixed, mixed reviews about it. There's not many mixed reviews. It's, it's that that's the way it is. That's the way it really happened in general. So I looked it up. No one really wrote this. I think it wrote. I think AI probably wrote, wrote this. And one of them is financial inflation. That, re, that means prices, prices going up and down, mostly going up. Strategic realignment. When it changes things, probably the way the restaurant looks, Maybe it's still the price structure and maybe the menu. I'm thinking those things are part of the reasons why they fail. And that's what it says. Copilot. Checking consumer trends. Yep. Checking consumer trends. But how can you really check consumer trends? Because it is the foot traffic that goes into these places. That is what you really count. That's what really counts. But as we know, restaurants do seem to have a lot of foot traffic, some of them, and they still fail. So all those other reasons. But there's one important thing that I found out. And maybe you found out about it, but I know I found out. Mod Pizza. I don't think I walked into any Mod Pizzas, but I've seen a lot of Mod Pizzas. Maybe I walked into one. I'm going to say that I did one-tenth or one billionth of percent. <laughs> maybe someone bought a Mod Pizza and brought it to work, and I ate a slice of it. But I can't never remember me going into Mod Pizza. Well, anyway, Mod Pizza, Mod, made on demand. That's what it means. Made on demand. And one of the most important things that I found out about it, which is quite interesting, is that the founder had actually opened up many restaurants across the seas, probably in Europe and various other kind of places. And they decided to, I'm going to say come back to Seattle because I think that's where they're mainly from, Seattle, Washington. And one of the things that they did, he actually founded Seattle Coffee Company. He founded Seattle Coffee Company and sold it to Starbucks. So, now this was in 1998 when he sold it to Starbucks. So, when you think about the things that uh, when Starbucks would start flourishing a lot, 
you kind of think about what's what's happening with that. Why is there a lot of expansion going on? So after going through all those many changes with many different other restaurants, probably I think I think a couple of them were probably small restaurants or big restaurants, kind of like a mixed use thing. But Mount Pisa was uh, formed in 2008. So, uh, so the coffee company was already sold by then. But he wanted something for his family. I'm not going to give the name of the proprietor or the founder who founded this thing. But I find it quite interesting when I go on the internet and read about all these different companies that this one person started, closed up some, sold some, and out pops the prize company that he really wants, or they really want, or the family really, really wants. So the Mod Pizza Place started in 2008. Now, mind you, I guess they were doing pretty good because they were once voted, I guess, the 50th best, I guess, restaurant or something one of those years. I didn't write that down. They had a whole lot of things going on, okay? I didn't write that down. I didn't report it. But being voted the best at something is always, whether it's once or twice or a hundred times, it don't matter. You voted best. That means you were very good at what you did with that restaurant. So Mod Pizza looked like a trendy restaurant from my distance as I look around at different malls and shopping centers. But when it started going downhill, <clears throat> it says, there was a another person who used to work with them. So I guess he was part of the family business, but, but he's one of the founders of Mod Pizza. Decided to start Pyology. Now he had some other places around the San Diego area, uh, San Diego area, this particular person. I'm talking about without giving out any name. But he started many franchises, little small places. But Pyology seems to be one of the major ones. I did eat there once. I thought it was kind of expensive. The pieces are very small. But I only went there once. It's probably okay for a lot of people. I'm not going to put it down. But for me personally, I'd rather have a big pizza. I think I did talk about that some time ago. But the founder decided to close up 27 locations and downsize Mod Pizza and filed bankruptcy chapter 11. In 2024, that's right, this year. And why? Because it hasn't survived quite readily the pandemic. That's what it says. So there is something to that about a successful, successful restaurant franchise going down it wavered through the storm, but it had to start closing up shop. And many employees had to be either reassigned or they don't come back. But I did fail to mention before I talked about Mod Pizza, why companies still fail. That's one of them. But another reason is, I did say foot traffic. But when you have people remotely working from their homes, 
that takes away from other restaurants. When franchises move to less economic based places within the cities. For instance, if you live in a big city and you're in an area that is not quite economic, economically viable, that means you're not going to make much money there. At least that's what a lot of them think. Maybe they have proof. I don't know. But that is why some businesses move from one lake along one location to the next. Because if they're going through a pandemic and they're losing money here and there's still money being made over there, then they're going to go where they're still making money. Because the depressed areas are here. They're not making any money. They're poor folks there. Whatever reason, they close up shop there and they move someplace else. Well, anyway, it's time for me to actually eat my food. I'm not going to eat it now, but I'm going to show it. The part of the process of my YouTube. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. I hardly ever say that, but I'm going to say it at the end. As a small YouTuber, I take pride in what I do. And as you can see, this Chipotle chicken from Panera Bread with the egg, this is good. Not from what I had <laughs> on Saturday. I definitely had to throw it away. And this is still nutritious. This is great food. This is Robin Deschamps. Sample Sunday. Spotlight Mod Pizza. The downfall. Or the rise. What they must do to reverse those trends. I'll see you in my next video, folks. This is Robin Deschamps. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Maybe I will. Look a little bit. Just for the record.